welcome back, everybody, to the Sundays podcast. I'm Megan. And I'm the reason we've skipped another week. I'm also partially a reason. <laughs> because I was too busy playing on my computer <laughs> that I now have. Woo! I have my own setup. It's not a laptop and not my sister's computer. <laughs> I was too busy being sick. I did not tell you that I was sick, but I was sick. I I was okay. It's okay. (laughs) My niece uh, just had to get sent home yesterday because she had type A flu influenza or something. Oh. So uh, I guess it's just going around. Did you see? It was, oh my gosh. I saw it t- posted on Twitter, so the legitimacy is, the legitimacy is like questionable. But there was um, a preschool that got shut down in one of the southern states because one anti-vax kid caught some super old disease. <gasps> yes, I did. It was like polio. Yeah, it was polio. And that usually happens when you're like swimming in like I think like lakes and stuff. Like you usually get it from yeah. that. Which happens a lot, especially if you're from a small town. And, yeah, we never got you know, polio, though. Nope, because we're vaccinated. And you could consider me a little river monster as a kid. <laughs> I was swimming and sliding around up in you there. You can call me Nessie. <laughs> yeehaw. Speaking of oh. yeehaw, Miss Beyonce Speaking and her... Oh! In her Texas country. Hold'em. Yay! A very good song. I love it And, oh, have you heard, I don't remember the girl's name and I feel so bad, but her song's called Buckle Bunny. No, I haven't, but I've, there's a girl who has a song called Austin, um, and that one's going pretty viral right now. So lots of yeah. country music. Lots of country music. Uh, Austin is by Dasha. Buckle Bunny is by Tanner Adele. Love this. Love the um, women. She's also a black woman. We love seeing oh, black women yeah. in country. We do. Another black woman I love in country is... <sighs> she's on my playlist. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Oh my goodness, where is she? Why While you're looking for that, can I Debbie read Debbie Dawson. First? Ooh, I Debbie? don't know her. She's very good. I like her. I'll have to look at her. Can I read to you, though, the first verse of Buckle Bunny? Yes, please. So the song starts off with, I'm at the mini mart in a mini skirt, about to steal your man in a torn up t-shirt. Slay. This ain't the Hamptons. We all got tramp stamps. (laughs) Acrylic covered in barbecue at the line dance. I love that song. I hope there's a line dance to it. I've also, okay, as you know, Haley, my v- the viewers do not, but I line dance every once in a while. And um, I have realized that there are not enough country line dances. It is mostly like hip hop line dancing. In the modern world? Yes. It is mostly hip hop line dancing. If you look up line dancing on TikTok, you will not find many country line dancing. They are dancing to Pitbull. They are dancing to any hip-hop artist you could think of. But they are not dancing to Megan Maroney, which is such a shame. (laughs) But there better be one for Texas Hold'em. I'm going to put that down right now. Texas Hold'em better have a line dance by the end of the week. Oh, I'm sure it will. Um... I've also been watching the Knives Out movies, as I told you, because they're, yes. they're very good. Daniel Craig um, doing the most fantastical uh, country accent that I could think of. Uh, it's even better when you realize when you find out that he went to a dialect coach and then you listen to his accent and you're like, It's not a it's not a good country accent. I'm gonna say that it's it's very <laughs> it's very like I said fantastical. It is out of this world, uh, otherworldly of a, a southern accent, but it's so good that I can't even complain. 
But I can't wait for the new movie to come out. I need a good cast. Need a good cast. That is the key to a good movie. I feel like I've seen the first Knives Out, but I don't know if I've actually seen it or if my brain has just been TikTokified. Very well could have. It is something that I had found on TikTok and then I was like, I want to see this movie. And then I bought it on YouTube because that's the only way I could watch it. Ex- except for, it doesn't make sense because Glass Onion is a Netflix original technically. Yeah. But the first Knives Out isn't on Netflix. Huh. Which, um, not, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Why not just, why, why, why not put it on Netflix? Speaking of Netflix and policy choices, did you know Hulu is thinking about starting cracking down on password sharing in different homes? Yeah. That one specifically sucks for me because I use my mother's Hulu. Yeah. Well, that's what they're trying to stop. (laughs) So, like, I guess. But why? Because Because they want you to buy your own account. I won't. I know. (laughs) I just won't watch what's on Hulu. I know. I, like, it doesn't make any sense because most people can't, the reason they don't have one is because they can't afford one in their budget. So they're not going to buy one. Or the fact that you're allowed to share. Yeah. But I also found out, because I, I was talking about this with my sister, because Spotify allow, has audiobooks on their service, and it comes with your premium, uh-huh. but only for only for the account holder. So anyone under the account can't use it. Huh. So only I can use the audiobooks, and oh. no one else can. But they, I think that's a little a little dumb as well, because what the fuck is the point (laughs) that is so dumb but i can also see where it could be cheaper than audible but you only get 14 hours a week you can only listen to 14 hours of audiobooks or a month sorry now that doesn't seem like a lot it doesn't but i guess if you aren't an avid uh audiobook listener Like, I can listen to, like, maybe two hours or three hours at a time. 14 hours could be, like, one book. I mean, I've definitely... The Hunger Games was, like, 17 hours, the last book was. So, you would have to wait to listen to that last bit. Oh, see, that would piss me off. Yeah. That I can see... Like I said, I could see where that could become an issue. But... For me personally, I'm not too upset about it, but if it were Taylor, she'd be like, what? Yeah, not like, because I just, I've never read, I've never done audiobooks. I've always either, like, just read the book or not. Audiobooks are I my feel like I feel like I should get into audiobooks, though. When you, when, when I'm crocheting, it is so nice to listen to an audiobook instead of, like, listening to YouTube, which, because I can't pay attention to it. Uh-huh. So an audiobook is just so much, like, if you want, like, a long plot and you're planning on sitting for a couple hours, audiobooks are the best. See, I'd be afraid that I'd have to go and, like, rewind it so often. Because when I'm crocheting or if I'm doing anything, like, cleaning the house or, like, I'm moving so I've been packing a lot, if I need background noise, I can't have it be something that I need to pay attention to. So, like, when I crochet, I'll put a podcast on, but, like, a podcast I've already listened to. Or I watch, like, House. Or, like, a show that I've already seen the entire way through. Because it's, like, it's background noise. It's mindless. I can tune in when I want. But it's not like I really have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, the opposite. Because I pay attention more when I'm crocheting. Because once I get into the rhythm, uh, my hands just go. Oh, I can't. I have to focus so much on the fact that I'm not counting. <laughs> I, I just pick patterns that I don't have to count for. Yeah. Oh, Will's girlfriend wants me to make her a blanket. Will called me the other day at work. How much she paying was... you for it? <clears throat> well, she's gonna buy. Um, she's gonna oh, the buy yarn. the yarn. Okay. Well, then that's a pretty good. And yeah, she asked if she bought the yarn if I would just make a blanket. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that for you. Because, like, I don't 
really care because it's the big like jumbo blanket yarn Mm -hmm. so when i have time and she doesn't she has no time expectancies she's like whenever you get a chance because she's like super nice i was like yeah "Yeah, just like whenever you pick out the yarn like just know that the yarn is expensive it is my mom my mom saw it on sale so she told him but i was like Mm -hmm. just you know make sure you I don't know how available it is online because every time I try to buy it online, it's like, oop, not available yet. Joanne's even has it on for eight forty nine online, and they were pretty stacked. I wonder if it's just because those big ones they come in two different skein sizes, and I'm wondering if it's the big ones or the little ones. I think it's the big ones because they're ori- the the ones that I was looking at were originally like twelve dollars. See the ones that I buy, the big ones, they're originally like 18 to 22. Mmm, because the ones I bought were pretty big and they were 849 or something like that, Walmart. So I don't know, maybe it is the smaller ones. Yeah. I don't know. And then it's like different with brands too. Everything's weird. Mm hmm. Um,. But yeah, I was like, just go pick out the color. I was like, if you want that size, it took me about five skeins. If you want a little bit bigger, you could get more. And just, you know, get it to me and I'll make you a blanket when I can. Because they work up really quick. They do. When I made, uh, the one I made for Taylor, although I didn't have, I only got, it must be the smaller ones because I only had five skeins. And it made like a good, a good size, like square, but it's just Uh a little too short. But, um. It, it worked. It, I mean, I got it done in a day. Yeah. It really, mostly because my day's off, I literally do nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, when I decided to make my mom a blanket for Christmas, I mean, I still use the extra thick blanket yarn, but it's it was the smaller size. Not mm-hmm. just the overall skein, but the yarn itself. Yeah. Um, and it's like, it's probably a queen, or between a queen and a king size blanket. And I did that in a day and a half. But I only crocheted. Yeah, that's like the thing. When I was making those blankets, I was again, I was listening to the Hunger Games series, and uh, because I finished two blankets in maybe two weeks, Mm -hmm. and one wasn't with thick yarn; it was with the the regular uh, medium weight yarn. Yeah. So that one was took a little bit longer. The big one took, however long, and then I made two sweaters. And. Again, in like two or three weeks. So, I mean, crocheting, if you have uh, a, a day <laughs> not planned for anything, <laughs> uh, it's a good activity to learn. It is. And it keeps, I mean, it'll fuck up your hands in the long run if you don't oh, do yeah. like your good stretches and stuff. But yeah. I feel like it, I feel like it does help with your hand dexterity. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just all of the fun things in life are gonna end up fucking your wrists later in life. Oh yeah. Which I sucks. however I would like to go on like a big long trip just to crochet. Like you know how you see people like crocheting on a plane or crocheting like in the car? Mm-hmm. I wanna do that. I, I feel that so person. bad crocheting in a plane though. Like I if would I was not. making a blanket, having to flip that, be like, oh hey, sorry. Oh, hey, sorry. I feel like I feel like I could do it or like just make a scarf. Make scarves and hats. I think I want to start doing that and like donating them. Like I want to Yeah, dude. I want to start going to like thrift stores cuz do you see people who like thrift yarn? They like find things that are like sweaters, scarves, Yeah, and then blankets. they take it apart. Yeah. And I feel like uh that I feel like that could be a cheaper way of doing that. Yeah, there's a woman I follow that thrifts quilts and, you know, textile blankets like that, and she'll take them and she'll turn them into, like, jackets, Mm -hmm. Um, and she always keeps, like, if there's an artist patch from whoever created it, which I, I'm finally just starting to consider, like, crocheting an actual art form. I know it is an art form, it's just weird to be like, oh, I crochet, I'm an artist. I'm a textile yeah, well, they're called, artist. They're called they're fiber arts. <laughs> yeah. It's just I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't connect in my head for me personally to be an artist cuz I'm like I'm not artsy have or you creative. Seen, have you seen like the freeform crochet? Like people yes. will crochet in rounds and they'll make like uh I mean they're blobs, but they can be like wall art or rugs or uh, abstract blankets, I suppose. 
Oh yeah, I I started when I started working in the round, like when I was making my little uh, animal guys. Um, I would just sit there and I'd go like to get the hang of it, just go round and round and round and round, and I'd mm -hmm. start getting weird like with my shapes and stuff mm -hmm. because it's just like it's fun. I think I like the repetition. I do too. I prefer repetitive uh, patterns because there are some that are like I've been looking at the ones I think I sent it to you at one point and it's like every couple rows is a different uh, stitch. Yeah. But I don't think I could do that because I the way I work up blankets is just by mindlessly doing anything. <laughs> like if mm -hmm. I can't be mindless I can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, like, my, and honestly, once I do one stitch for so long, I forget how to do the rest. Mm -hmm. And I haven't even done that many, like, complex stitches. And I don't remember the names for any of them. Except for, you know, your typical, like, your single crochet, your double crochet, your triple crochet, your half crochet, your half double. Double. Mm -hmm. I, I love half fair, doubles. Most half doubles are amazing. And that's what you make, that's what I believe the linen stitch blankets that I make are made out of mm -hmm. are half doubles and that's why I love how like you it makes up so much and it uses y less yarn I believe but you still get yeah. that length amazing truly um an amazing thing I think I did the sweat one sweater that I made that looks really good I think is like a triple qu crochet uh-huh and that is a pain in the ass <laughs> A triple crochet is awful. Well, yeah, because at that point, you're just looping around so much. Mm-hmm. It is. But, I mean, does it stop at a triple crochet? Can I get a... Oh, absolutely. You could probably do a quadruple crochet. Can I get an octuple crochet? <laughs> Something <laughs> just we have to try out now. Just keep fucking going. I feel like an octuple crochet in the rounds with, like, a thick yarn could make a good rug. Oh my gosh, but in the round with the thick yarn, because I've tried it. It's so hard. It's a pain in the ass. Someone was making, like, cord with uh, with yarn, and they have, like, a like a release hook. And mm -hmm. it's, like, a three-prong release hook, and they're basically making cord and crocheting as they're making the cord. And it's insane. It's an insane thing to look at. Is, was it a three prong hook? It's like, oh my god, I, I, I'm gonna have to like show it to you because it's hard to explain. It's like a release hook, so it does like it, it like single crochets, and so she'll make the cord like that, and then she'll go in, and then she'll stop making the cord and crochet with the cord that she just made. It's a, like a really weird thing to look at. Why is my search Yahoo and not Google? Yahoo's. I'm on Google. I sent it to you. Oh, like but... these little stabby bitches? Yeah. It's weird. But she'll That's make crazy. the cord with that and then she crochets like as she's doing it. Like you can see her hook in the background. What did you send that on? TikTok. Okay. Ticker talk. But it's it's, like, really cool. And I want to start doing it, but I feel like oh, I would have to thrift yarn to do this. I've seen I just feel this. Like, but it, she can make some really cool rugs and stuff. And I am intrigued. I feel like that would piss me off so bad. Absolutely. Because you have to go, it looks like you have to go so slow. You do. You do. And I just, I'm intrigued, though. But it looks so cool. It does look so cool. It looks like it would hurt if she slapped you with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. If she whipped that. Speaking of whipping. Oh. Uh. Hello. And welcome <laughs> to medieval. <laughs> medieval careers. <laughs> Is it career Hello. fair already? Yep. <laughs> Career fair. Oh, how I've missed this. For our first medieval career, I have a whipping boy. Okay. 
Oh. And you have to guess what he does. All right, whipping boy. I, okay. Is he like a whips, a whipper's apprentice where he's got to make the whips? No. Nope. Hold the whips? <laughs> is he getting whipped? He is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. His, his job is to get whipped? Yep. Is he like a Correct. test subject for the whips? He is not. Oh. Is he, he a criminal? He might have royal, um... Uh, he he's a roy he, he's oh, a royal oh oh I know I've heard this he he takes the punishments instead of the royal people Correct. like the prince the Correct. prince of the princess yay I Wait, knew I heard of that bitch give me a second give me a second give me a second <laughs> <laughs> Correct and now I have a knock nobbler. Oh no. The name is deceptive. <laughs> I don't think you'll knock, get this one. A knock nobbler. Can you spell that? K N O C K N O B B L E R. Okay. Nobbler. Uh I can I ask you to use it in a sentence or will that give it away? I was at church and the knock nobblers saved us. <laughs> oh, oh, they saved us. Um, okay, okay. Uh, knock nobblers. <laughs> knock nobbler. <laughs> are, are, I'm gonna, are knock- s- do you want me to tell you, give you a hint of sorts? Um,. Yes, please. There is a job that features animals that is current today. There is a a job that equals this job, basically. Oh, with animals? Yes. Is it like Is it like a butcher? No. Is it a I, farmer? I was at church in the knock knobbler. Saved us. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Are they, um, are they little shepherds? Close. Oh, okay. A more professional job besides shepherd. They they don't sit in the field, I would say. <sighs> Do they watch over the field? <laughs> <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> Is it a scarecrow? <laughs> no. Want me to tell you? Are they guardians? Are they livestock guardians? I wouldn't think of it as livestock. But it is more for animals. protection of the people. Are they cops? They're... Kind of. What are th- what are dog cops? What are animal cops? Would you say? <laughs> what 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 it what? what? In this um, current animal day. control? Correcta mundo. <laughs> okay, sorry, you said um, <laughs> animal cops, and all I could think of was like an Air Bud remake where they go to the police force. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a fun Air Bud pun, and I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All I can think of is air spud, but that's potato. And that's <laughs> yeah. not correct. How but many bud movies were there? There were like I mean, to be fair, they made like the the bu- the buddy movies. I think there was only three regular air bud movies. Why the fuck am I on Yahoo again? Ta- I'm literally in Google Chrome. Who wants to search on Yahoo? Do I look like that kind of bitch? Apparently. I... Oh my god, there were much more. Okay, so there were five Air Bud movies. God, they went all the way to 2003. They made one, almost, almost one every year. And then Air Buddies came out. I loved Air Buddies as a child. <laughs> Airbud World Pup. 
<laughs> yeah, it was and then really good. Oh, I forgot. I love the Air Buddies. There's Air Snow Buddies, buddies and Space Buddies and Santa Buddies and Spooky Buddies and Treasure Buddies and Super I can't buddies. believe that Santa Buddies came out in 2009 and Super and there's a movie called Super Buddies. I've never heard of that one. I've heard of Spooky Buddies. I think the Spooky Buddies is the last one I remember. I can't believe a movie that's a movie franchise that started in 1997 went all the way to 2013. Oh yeah. And then the, the, and then that that's not even including the Santa Paws uh series cuz there's the search for Santa Paws and Santa Paws 2 the Santa Pups. In a, apparently there were 14 total films in the Air Bud franchise. Yep. 5 were Air Bud were in the Air Bud series, and seven, seven in the Air Buddies. Yeah. And then and there two, were two Christmas spinoffs. Two Santa Paws movies. They just don't make movies like they used to, goddammit. They do not. Could you imagine losing your spot on the team to a fucking dog? I would love to imagine that, in fact. I I, I wish think... I found a dog that could cook. <laughs> <laughs> like, he plays football, he plays... S- fucking basketball, soccer, baseball, he be volleyball. I never saw Air Bud Spikes Back. Do you want to get drunk and watch all the Air Bud movies? Absolutely. But I will be drinking two beers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to get kid drunk, as in we just drink those Kool Aid jammers and <laughs> that look like beer bottles? <laughs> yeah. I'll get, I'll get squeezy applesauce. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Do you want to have a toddler day? Hell yeah. We just act like toddlers. We can finger paint. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd love that so much. Can we get Can we get that sand shit? <gasps> oh, ooh, 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 what is it called? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I know you know what it kinetic is. Kinetic sand. That- yes. Yes, can we get kinetic sand? Yes. And we can get model magic and we can make fun little things do you M- model spend, magic is so cheap do you want to spend five hundred dollars on all of the play-doh molds yes <laughs> <laughs> i have an ice cream one that's hopeland's <laughs> fuck yeah get that shit and she won't care if i take it she has one at home <sighs> but yes a knock nobbler shoes away wild dogs at church service and when there's no dogs, they scold the children. <laughs> now, that's, can you imagine? That's so funny. If I didn't have, if there was nothing to do at my job and I just decided to do something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> like what, scold the children? Yeah, I just start yelling at our customers. <laughs> I think you should do that in general. I wish I did. But yeah. I feel like that would work out well for you. I think it would too, but that is the end of... Medieval Career Fair. Love. Thank you. Thank you for that um, knowledge. And viewers, you're welcome for the little Air Bud spinoff. Our little tangent. I'm sorry we can't invite you all to our hangout. You guys might harsh the vibe. We could just put it on Twitch stream. Because I did. Okay, so when I did the Twitch stream, I also changed my username to the Sunday's podcast. So just in case we decide um, <laughs> we wanted to stream. Now, I've got a question. Because you can't stream movies on Twitch. Like, that's no, been a you thing. Cannot. People have been banned. Can we stream ourselves watching and reacting to them and just have yes. the audio? Yes. That's I don't, allowed? I don't, I don't think the audio. I think we'd have to wear headphones. Okay, but we could do that and do the rest and still talk. Yes. We could commentate on it. Do you want to oh, talk do you want to commentate on the sports games of Airbuds like we're um the Nickelodeon Super Bowl? Yes. I wanted to watch the Super Bowl on Nickelodeon so bad. I didn't know that they did that. I knew immediately because I know because I saw the list of the commentators on uh Twitter, I believe. Uh-huh. Which I don't go on Twitter anymore because I'm just it just pisses me off to be on there. So fair. But so fair. But here we are. Um but yes, I saw the list of the commentators on Twitter. 
So I knew immediately that there was, uh, this was going to be great. They got t- what Tom Kenny, Tom, for Spongebob to just go wild. Uh-huh. And I loved it. I loved that he made a comment about Leonardo DiCaprio in his dating profile. Um, truly amazing. I loved, uh, what was it? Passive aggressive Dora. Beautiful. Truly an immaculate setup for that game. And I think they need to do it every year. And in fact, they need to do it for every game. If they don't, that's going to be so upsetting. They need to have okay. Nickelodeon sports. <laughs> they do. Um, sorry, I was still looking at the Air Bud, and then I was looking at the cast, and I clicked on the dog. The dog that played Buddy? He died. The original Air Bud? He was only alive for a year. Yeah. He didn't even make it a year, actually. No. Poor guy had cancer. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and then I believe the one that replaced him also died. What the fuck? Did you see the puppy bowl thing? Oh, and the little puppy that died? Yeah, and they put it on screen. (laughs) Yeah, and they chose the saddest picture of her ever. Yeah, but apparently, the I cannot deny nor confirm, but apparently they would not foster this dog out to anyone out of state, but they flew her all the way to Las Vegas to be on the puppy bowl. Which well, she could now, have had a foster family that could have paid for her treatment. And instead... She could have. But I guess also the pup... I, uh, see, it's conflicting. Because the puppy bowl, I believe, it is the puppy bowl other people's dogs or is it like... Like uh, shelter dogs? Because I can't remember, to be honest. I, I don't remember. Hold on. I'll look it up. But... I know that, like, a lot of the dogs, I believe, are shelter dogs, and they're there to get, like, adopted, but the fact that you could, couldn't could foster this dog out of state or adopt this dog out of state, but you would fly this dog to the fucking puppy bowl is a little, um, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, the... Purpose of the Puppy Bowl is to raise awareness about adopting pets from shelters and rescuing That's what I abandoned thought. animals. Um, and then this thing says the Puppy Bowl, whatever number it was, um, will feature a number of dogs from animal rescue organizations across mm-hmm. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. So I think it's all dogs that are up for adoption. That's what I had thought. But, yeah, they wouldn't ado- let anyone out of state adopt the dog. But fly it all the way to the puppy bowl. <laughs> but you know, I guess uh, can't really say much there. It's I guess it's done and over with. I want to find the shelter that uh, sent that dog, and I want to send a very uh, meaningful message. A but strongly worded letter. Strongly worded letter. <laughs> On the topic of dogs, did you know that pocket beagles were a thing? I feel like I did. I just thought they were called miniature beagles. Yeah, I don't know. I just saw a person on TikTok that had one. And um, everybody in the comments was flaming her for choosing a dog who was bred poorly. Yeah. And yeah, after a quick Google search, BeaglePro.com says, Real pocket beagles are extinct. The bloodline's gone forever. Clearly not. <laughs> well, to get a mini version of a dog, you just breed a dog with something smaller. Yeah, basically. I don't know what fucking dog they would breed it with. I just... I wish breeders didn't exist. (laughs) I wish it was something... Like, I get that there is ethical breeding. Like, the people that are breeding pugs to get them to have a longer snout. Okay, yeah, that that one. 
that is ethical breeding. I mean, I get that it's going to take some time and it sucks for the dogs along the way, but in the end, it's going to be so much better for the pugs. It just sucks because you know that there's going to be people that continue to buy the short-nosed beagle or uh, pugs because they're more aesthetic, and then they're going to wonder why they sound like they've smoked 30 packs a day for the past 40 years. Yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't understand, like, going for an aesthetic dog, especially, like, people who like huskies, but they live in Texas. Or they like huskies, but they hate loud dogs. Yeah. I think we're gonna see an influx in huskies and similar dog breeds over the next few years in shelters, because people want them for the aesthetic of having one, because they are oh, very yeah. loyal, very smart, very intelligent dogs. But you also it's... have to exercise, because they're, and, like, herding dogs. Like, people get angry yeah, when like their dog, like, takes their remote. Like, they'll take their remote or their shoes or something. Or they'll, like, bark a lot at them because they're not where they're supposed to be. You got a herding dog, it's going to herd you. Yes. That's like getting mad at a border collie for wanting to herd your children. You haven't yeah. given it a job. They make herding balls for that exact reason. Mm-hmm. If you have a working dog, you need to give it a job. That's like, mm-hmm. my mom tries to do a lot with Quaker so that he doesn't feel destructive. And I mean, mm-hmm. you know, Quaker was destructive as hell as a puppy. That's just oh, really yeah. him being Eating a razors. Puppy and books and everything in fucking between. But Quaker oh, yeah. hasn't done any of that or like really burrowed into mattresses or like torn apart, torn apart couches or pillows or any of that. Because my oh, mom yeah. gives him enough to do. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, people don't know what kind of dog they need. Like, if I was going to get a dog, I'd want a low-energy dog. Yeah. Because, like, I need a low-energy dog to to be low-energy with me. Yeah. Like, there's no way that you would get something super high-energy. You no. also need to get a dog that fits the house that you have. Oh, like, yeah. I think people it's have, so like, sad. small-ass apartments, and they'll get, like, a fucking Samoyed. And it's, like, this big yeah. fucking dog in this tiny little apartment. Or, like, you live in a small home and you want a St. Bernard. They're yeah. huge. You They're, can't do that. Big. They get big and they get anxious. Yeah. It, like, it just, it, I, it just, uh, like, pit bulls, if they weren't so stigmatized, are, like, the perfect dog. Like, they def- are. Like, truly. Like, they can be high energy and they'll do stuff with you, but they, if you want to lay down and do nothing... They are so willing to lay down and do nothing. Yeah, they truly are such docile dogs. And I'm yeah. so sad. I'm sad that bully breeds in general get such a bad I rap. know. Because they don't Because they're it. babies. They're my such dog, big babies. My pity climbs underneath a blanket. She's figured out how to put a blanket on her. Yeah. Like, she I've never just seen wants another, to sleep. Yeah, I've never seen another dog breed so open to wearing clothes. I know. My dog will wear a sweater. Like, if you get a chihuahua, I don't even understand why chihuahuas even exist now. Because they are, like, they're not friendly. That's they're the not thing, though. Nice. Chihuahuas, they are friendly dogs. You just have to treat them right. Yeah. Because there are Although, so many people that have super friendly chihuahuas, and they're super nice to everybody. It's just they are fiercely loyal dogs. Mm-hmm. But that, that's but what they I don't... love a chihuahua. I love a long-haired chihuahua. I, I also think they can't be in, like, cold climate if you have, like, a, a, a not hairless chihuahua. Because I feel like those are more common. Yeah. But they're, like, they're little rat hunter dogs. They are. That's their purpose. I'm gonna let them I just don't get- I don't know wild. how you can have a dog and not want to do any research into it. Because they go- they go to the shelter- they see the dog that fits their aesthetic, and then they're done. <laughs> and yeah, but that's... even to have a dog, like, a lot of shelters, especially around here, they, like, demand that you have a fence, and I understand demanding a fence, but a lot of places, even if it's, like, a small dog, like, you you can't have a fence. It's not like you're going to leave them out on, not on a leash, but. Yeah, no. But that's, like, one of the local shelters that I follow, it's, um, oh, why can't I see them? 
it's blue chip farm animal refugee and they do like in all of their posts for their available dogs if it's a breed that's known to need like more work they put that in the post they're like we will test you and if you do not do your research and you do not prove that you're knowledgeable on this dog we will not adopt them to you Mm -hmm. which i think more shelters should i mean it sucks because shelters are so underrun and like underfunded yeah and they don't always have you know the capacity to do that and check into homes as much as they should Mm -hmm. but like it's also just on you individually as an owner like, just because mm-hmm. you really like the show Bluey doesn't mean you need to get a healer. Yeah, no, don't get a healer. If you don't get do a not, healer. Or if you're not on a farm, bitch, like, they need to be going. Mm-hmm. They are Because my sister, my dearest older sister, um, has a mix of a blue healer. Mind you, at the time, she lived in an apartment. And it was a small mm-hmm. apartment. And it was a mix between another bigger dog. So, not only was this dog big, this dog was feral because she was in a small area. And she's still feral because they don't, because they're all so busy all the time. And I told her, I was like, why didn't you consider getting, I don't know, a dog that didn't have as much energy? And she was like, well, I I go on hikes during the summer. And I'm like, yeah, during the summer? (laughs) What about the winter months? You assholes. Yeah. Like, I don't... I don't understand getting a dog that's high energy. I don't. If you, if you're not, like, a farmer or, like, an Olympic racer who races during the winter and, like, goes out during that. Or a hiker. Yeah. No. But, I don't know. It just... That's, like... Hold on, I want to get... You ever see the videos of, like, farmers that have livestock and they've got livestock guardian dogs? Yes. That would be, like, those dogs are huge. Oh, They obviously need, they need the space, they need... Why does this keep opening? That's so obnoxious. Like, they're usually, I believe, Great Pyrenees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, those dogs, you don't... That's not a beginner dog. Oh, absolutely not. You don't just get one because you like the way that they look. Or, like, any kind of mastiff. Or, like, if you don't do training with them. That's also something. Yes. Like, if you are, if you don't have the time to train a dog, then you can't have a dog. Mm-hmm. And I do feel, like... I feel like people... The same people that don't want to see kids in as many public spaces are the people that want to bring their dogs with them everywhere. I feel like there's mm-hmm. a lot of overlap in those groups. Oh, and yeah. it's like, I'm sorry a human child is going to be a part of everyday life your dog though does not need to be in this texas roadhouse with us no just because you get anxious does not mean you need to bring fucking little lulu in with you Mm -hmm. because there's a people just don't realize that there's a difference between you know their service dogs and you know an emotional support animal i can see emotional support dogs if they're trained being on like planes or going shopping with you. I just... It, like, then your like, dog needs to be trained. That's exactly it, but there's no, there's very minimal training for emotional support animals. They just need to get a license that you can go online and pay, like, 50 bucks for. Yeah, and there's no, like, socialization training. Like, those dogs, they'll lunge after other dogs. And mm-hmm. it just, it sucks because it puts a bad rap on the actual service animal dogs. Yep. And it's it's but. just, I don't know. I think, like, I saw I saw a post earlier where people were mad on a 29-hour flight because there was a toddler on the flight and they were screaming and, like, crying pretty loudly for a large duration of the flight. And the people in the comments were like, if you can't control your child on a flight, then you should be fined upwards of $3,000 and you should be banned from ever flying again. And your mistake doesn't mean no your mistake doesn't need to be put out in public take a car but it was a flight from like new zealand to berlin yeah you can't take a car there no and like i get listening to a baby cry is obnoxious get headphones (laughs) there yeah and for the longer flights there are genuinely sometimes you just cannot get a baby to stop crying no 
Because guess what? If their ears hurt and they're crying because their ears hurt and their ears don't get better, they're not going to stop crying. No. they Because also babies can't communicate. The only way they can communicate is through when they crying. Are crying. So, like, like, I don't know if that's their communication. I'm going to tell you, to, what am I going to do? Tell you to stop talking? Because yeah. that's annoying to me. No, you can talk to whoever much you want. And, like, do you think the parent of that child that's throwing a fit or crying in general is not super embarrassed that their kid is doing that on the plane? Absolutely. Like, I just think we, as a society, have gotten so comfortable with hating children. And, like, it's not fair. No, because they didn't do anything. No, and we were all once children, too. And I get that you're so far removed from that once you become an adult, because, like, you really don't remember what it's like. Mm -hmm. But also, like, these kids, they're five. They've had five years on this planet. They don't know anything. If you Mm -hmm. call, if you put your phone to your ear and tell them that you're calling Bluey and telling them that your kid's being bad and (laughs) their show is going to get canceled, the kid's going to believe you. Yeah. They, like, they you have, have to be patient. Yeah, that, that, that's just how it is. But it, I feel like these same people, because I was just on TikTok, and I saw this, This she was a teenager, and she she's a pregnant teenager, because that happens, sadly. Mm-hmm. That we, so it, sad. But there's people in the comments being like, pregnant? She's a kid! I'm like, have you... It, it Yeah. Yeah, that, that is how that happens. And people in the comments were like, because the mom was, she wasn't like, constantly berating her kid for being pregnant Mm -hmm. because what are you gonna do after it's done i suppose yeah uh and they were like well you should have kicked her out and you should have you should have done something and you didn't treat your kid i'm like girl your mom probably was a pregnant teenager i don't want to break it to you um it happens and we all just have to accept that as a and stop acting like it's a new thing because that was a thing, you know, back in the olden days. Not that I'm saying we should go back to the olden days, because we don't. But it's a tale as old as time. Yeah. I do think, I do genuinely think there are some things from the olden days that we can learn from, and we can modernize, and we can take that on. Uh, absolutely. I, but, like, the f- the feeling of community... And having your family with you and supporting your family. I feel like, Mm -hmm. especially in America, we have lost that. Because there is no sense of community. But it's it's all so individualism. Because also, I feel like we've also gone to fend for yourself. Because we can't afford to afford anyone else's uh, problems, I guess. Yeah. And And that's not our issue. It's the way our government is run where we can't up the minimum wage and we can't barter we can't do anything well you can barter technically yeah but But like this that's when your community should be better like that's when you should be relying on each other it shouldn't be like you just you fall in i think social media has Mm. a big thing to play into that too because you can just go online and talk into the void and if you've got really shitty ideas like if you're an incel or you're super far either right or left politically Mm -hmm. like you get so far one way that you end up a shitty person no matter what and you've got very bad ideas oh yeah um like i think we're just we focus too much on that but nobody wants to like you hear the you grow up hearing though like that your mom doesn't want to do anything or you're i mean i know we can speak to this like our parents constantly told us never to have kids Oh yeah, or like if you have if you have kids, I hope you have kids just like you because you're terrible, you're horrible. Oh yeah, and it's like okay, so the now I don't want to have kids, and now I don't want to be around the extended family, and now I don't want to be around you, and mm-hmm. now I'm just gonna be by myself. Yep, and now we're just gonna sit in a room and do nothing. Yeah, and when you're surprised I'm not talking to you, <laughs> I'm gonna say, well, <laughs> this is what you wanted. <laughs> Womp womp. Womp womp. If it isn't the consequences of my actions. <laughs> and I just, I I don't see how they don't see it. Because, like, it's so plain and simple. It's right in front of you. You're saying it. It's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. But I, I just sit there and I'm like, 
how do you not realize what you're saying? Yeah. But like, how do you not realize that you yourself are the problem? But, you know, I guess when there's a cloud, <laughs> clouding your, your, your uh, sense of vision into your yeah. own brain. Yeah. Yeah. And you think you're always right because you thought your mom, their mom was always right. And then, so they're always right. Yeah. Uh, but like, and then, also, it's so hard to look forward to anything or even care about anything that's going to happen when it's like, if you look at the climate clock, we've got like five and a half years left. See, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm <laughs> over it. Let it die. I, uh, I want to think about it because I'm like, you know, life could be so good. Life could be so good if people weren't so greedy and if we actually yeah. respected what we had. But the problem is that will never, ever, ever happen. And that is just the no. life we live. And I it don't want to live in fear. happen if we just killed off all these fucking grind set people. We could, but then it's just, it's going to be a never ending cycle. And I can't kill someone, so unless our government is willing to do it. And then, of course, there's going to be people who are like, they're killing people. We can't do that. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm literally just like, if I don't think about it, I'm not stressed. Um, I can't do anything. <laughs> because my one body cannot do anything. My $2... genuinely just uh I'm broke yeah but one day maybe one day maybe one day maybe is all I gotta say uh, one day baby one one day baby <laughs> There's a baby. He's here. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Can you believe Ash Wednesday happened the same day as Valentine's Day? That should be illegal. No, I actually... So I'm not... It's what? That's a Catholic thing? It's or, Catholic, sometimes Methodist. Depends on, it just depends on you as a person, I guess. On what fair. you follow. Um, I'm not religious nor have i ever have been so ash wednesday is just a funny concept to me i don't get it why do you, you get the ashes to on your forehead because we it reminds you that you turn to ash and we all turn to ash and then you just have to leave it on your forehead till it goes away yeah but or or like you wash it off that's like what yeah so yeah. silly it is a little silly but it's like it's like palm sunday and you just get a palm it's silly <laughs> and you don't eat meat <laughs> wednesday also that wednesday you don't eat meat yeah no i know the i because it's lent season yeah yeah because we every... got pagosh at work for lunch today damn yeah so after today every friday catholics can't eat meat well that's silly. So, so that's just uh their thing I'm technically Methodist. I was ordained Methodist. Ordained? Baptized. I'm not ordained. <laughs> I wish... It's so easy to get ordained in Pennsylvania. Did you know that? So I like, did or, not. So it's when are you getting easy. ordained? Uh, now. I'm going to go on and I'm going to s sign the little papers and then I'm going to get ordained. Um, it's so easy to go to ordained and yet our alcohol is in a separate store than our grocery store. I did make it make sense. But, and also, our everything's difficult with Pennsylvania. Because we're only, we're, we're only a little commonwealth. Yeah, we're not even a wheel state. We're not even a wheel state. I don't gotta follow the laws. We have our own thing. Oh, that voice just made me think. Um, <laughs> do you know what I have been saying in my everyday life? What's that? Um, another day, another victory for the OGs, taken down to sweats. <laughs> you know that audio? My, I do not. You don't? The TikTok that I sent you, um, I've been quoting that all day. I've been going, <clears throat> the wine to, the wine hoots. <laughs> 
my phone rings all the time. Hello, my real estate phone. That is so fair. What do you mean we're going in? It's so... If that TikTok has changed my brain. My brain chemistry. <laughs> I simply have been thinking about the TikTok I sent you, the Hamilton but it's Lego movie. <laughs> they should make... They need to make everything a Muppet movie and a Lego movie. Yes. And if it's not done, I'm going to be angry. It should happen because God wants it to happen. God does want it to happen. God wants the Muppet movie. God God bless the Muppet movie. <laughs> That's what they should be saying in Britain. That's what they should be instead of God save the king or whatever. I can't he's believe gonna he's going to die. Got, so. I can't believe I can't believe Trisha Paytas is taking out two <laughs> British royals. God bless. <laughs> She's really an American. She is. And Taylor was saying, my sister, for anyone listening, uh, she was saying how, uh, like, they usually don't announce stuff like this unless it's serious. Like, Prince Harry went from the US to Britain after the news immediately. So it's like, it's like a serious uh, thing happening. Well, yeah, it's gotta be if Trisha is pregnant again. Yes. It's so funny. I was just looking at the trending searches on Google, and the first one was um, Oregon cat bubonic plague. So I click on an article, I see an Oregon resident was diagnosed with the plague, and he caught it from his cat. Yeah. I didn't know these fuckers could get you sick like that. How does a cat catch the plague? Animals tend to spread things, kind of like rats. Well, yeah, I know that, but the plague? If if the cat ate a rat with the bubonic plague. (laughs) How is it still around? How is it still around? I thought we got rid of that bitch. Get vaccinated, people. Isn't it so crazy that anti vaxxers can actually take us back to the dark ages medically? Yep. I like think we it's thought amazing. the ice we thought the icebergs melting was gonna unleash some weird shit. It's yeah. just some it's just Sally deciding not to get her vaccine. Yeah. 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 Like all the measles outbreaks. Polio, measles, like hepatitis C. Yeah. All these things. All these lovely mwah, 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 diseases that we get to have now. That we I get don't... to experience, that our grandparents got to experience. I don't want to. Ask the last man living in an iron lung if he wants anybody to live that. Uh, no one does. No one does. No! And, um, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I like, don't get it I think all. I think anti-vaxxers were created by people that were afraid of needles. Afraid of needles and big government. I I genuinely think it was stemmed from so, and he made up a big excuse like the government is putting poison in it. It's I genuinely put, think they're it was putting just, autism in it. Yeah, that's what that's what that's someone who's afraid of thing. needles. That's a crazy thing say. to say out loud and then have people believe you. Yeah. Also, why is autism so stigmatized? You just I, got funky little interests. I know that's not it, viewers. I know that there's a lot more that goes into it. I'm just, just saying say. it should not be stigmatized to the point that it is. You should not fear that your child will be autistic. Yeah. And, like, I understand that, like, you will have to put in more effort for your kid. If but they shouldn't you be autism? prepared to do that as a parent anyway? That's yeah. what you're signing up for. You're planning on putting your kid in a daycare, really. That's what they're planning for. Yeah. You're planning on bringing a life onto this planet. You need to be prepared to love that life, no matter what they do, as long as what they do is consensual to all parties and of age and does not harm another person. If your kid goes off to murder somebody, hey, I think it's okay to not like them all that much. Mm-hmm. You can just own your, your kid if they do something if bad, your kid's autistic, actually bad. Yeah, but if they're autistic, if they've got Down syndrome, if they're gay, yeah. you can't just stop loving them for that. Gay That's is at the up. lowest podium. You can't love your kid who gay? Why? Why does Why? it matter to you who There's, your kid's it's, fucking with? Like, it just, it, uh, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it's I don't like, literally, 
the lowest on the podium. You didn't even have to do anything extra. You don't even have to do anything else. You Your literally just, just have to fruity. deal with it. You just have to deal with it. You just have to, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's but... like, also, I don't get parents that can have kids and then are so uncomfortable having the sex talk with their children. Oh, yeah. Like, Absolutely. you made that. You made that while having sex. Mm-hmm. You have to, be, you have to, if you can do the dance, you have to, you've got to do the prance. You, have, you know what I mean? You have, you have to wear the pants. Yes. So. You have to lay down that law. Yeah, but they don't want to. No, and then they don't want the schools to do it either, because they're like, my Johnny can't know about this. And it's like, your Johnny Johnny has already been making out with people in the hallway. Your Johnny has made his way through the girls' soccer team. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just saying, Johnny's a little whore. Yeah. <laughs> we all know. Jennifer. <laughs> and we support whores in this house. I oh, asked Dave, I have a little um, embroidery thing in my apartment that is, um, I, it's, yeah. not a whore, it's not a whore house, it's a whore home. Yes. And I'm like, where should I hang this, Dave? And he just looks at me. On the front door. And I'm like, I'm That's 100% weird. serious. Where am I putting this? <laughs> and he's like, you're keeping it? where i'm like money uh, on it yeah bitch it'll probably go in my craft room that's perfect right over your computer well the computer's gonna be in the game room well it's going in the game room then because we're uh, i kind of want to put it there but also that's going to be a very publicly accessed place and as much as as i love it i don't want to be judged (laughs) i don't see where the judging could come in Oh, uh, you know, by parental figures and also having to explain to oh, Anastasia man. what a whore is. Tell her she can't read. Sometimes <laughs> she read it wrong. Her, who will be 11 this year, I believe. Nope. <laughs> She's still five. <laughs> I just Correction. gaslight her. I love <laughs> gaslighting her. <laughs> See, I just, I can't believe it's been that long. But I know it's because we've been out of school for now six years. Don't even say it. Don't say that to me. Why would you I re- say that hurtful I reminded, word to me? I reminded my sister that she will now be out of school ten years next year. That's and, even uh, worse. And I was like, you know, Taylor, it's been uh, almost 15 years since you've been in, in middle school even. So um, That information? Did it, did it make her sit in bed all day? Oh, no, it did, because she found a, a little note in her book, and she was like, 2014. Oh, it's almost been 10 years. I'm like, almost, Taylor? No. <laughs> it, is. it has is. been 10 years. It's been 10 years, Taylor, since you were at the end of, at the beginning of your senior year. That That is, um, that is 10 years. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I I think I'm the only one who could just sit here and be like, yeah, <laughs> ten years. I just I'm one step closer to the grave. <laughs> I just hate the thought of being so old. Cause like I'm you know, in another year or two, gonna I'm old. gonna have to figure out my own insurance. Yep. I'm gonna have to pay yep. for that. I'm gonna. I don't even know where I'm gonna be in life. Me neither, man. And that's scary. Mm-hmm. I well, will you tell you, I've started hoping to get into car accidents, not to get injured, but so that I don't have to have my car payment anymore. I so know I think you told that's a step in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because I'm not Definitely wanting not. bodily harm. I want to get in an accident that's bad enough to total my vehicle, but not bad enough into- to total me. You want to get into a parking lot accident. So go to go to our Target in Dixon City. And just wait. And, yeah, because I'm <laughs> sure if you wait long enough, someone will ram into the side of your car. Yeah, the people in parking lots. I saw a post the other day. Specifically that parking lot. Oh yes. my god. I saw a post the other day. I don't remember where it was, whether it was Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, wherever, that said that um, the front of stores... You should not be able to drive in front of. It should be parking spots, like, all the way up, or it should be blocked off, barricaded walking spaces only. And I agree with that so heavy, because the amount of people that go, like, 
25, 30 miles per hour in front of the target. Like, you don't know who's walking out. There's a crosswalk there. You have to stop. Mm -hmm. If you hit somebody, you are at fault. Oh, yeah. Like, it's crazy. There's no need to be in that much of a rush all the time. No, not at all. Like, parking lot, you should be going the minimum. 10 miles an hour. Yeah, like 10, 15. Like, that is it. There should be no need for 30 miles an hour in an enclosed area no, where you with cannot children. swerve. With children, with the elderly, with people in general, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, mm-hmm. people, kids love running out in front of people, especially with the way that vehicles are designed now, because uh, these big SUVs have and the trucks have such a huge blind spot in front of them and on the sides. You're not going to see somebody if you're going too quick. Especially just, if they're a, if they're a kid. Yeah, it just I. Whew, it just it blows my mind. Same. How how ballsy you have to be to go through a parking lot and I, I don't know I don't know I am planning on getting my license as we know. I'm planning on getting it this year. I cannot imagine going fast in a parking lot. (laughs) I don't think you can imagine going fast in general, which is honestly so much better. Incorrect. I can go 35 to 40 miles per hour now. Okay, okay. I'm getting there. (laughs) We will talk about fast when you even think about 80 miles an hour. I'll never need to go anywhere that I need an 80 miles per hour. You won't. As somebody that does it, you don't need to. No. I've slowed down a lot. I've actually been focusing more on trying to keep my um, fuel economy up. And Mm -hmm. let me tell you, that'll keep you in check. Yeah. But I'm also, like, I'm just so afraid of somebody, like, road raging at me and then fucking shooting me (laughs) through my window. Well, yeah. I remember the one time you pulled someone out of their car. Huh? Didn't you pull someone out of their car? I I, re- I never walked over and physically pulled somebody out of their car. <laughs> but you do threaten to, so. Yes, I I do. I threaten a lot of things. But <laughs> like it- Oh my god, the trip to Cape Cod. <laughs> oh, lovely. Guys, if you want 4 hours of entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> put me behind the wheel. <laughs> Oh my god. In my defense, though, driving sucks. Driving on a five-lane highway sucks even more. Especially, people were trying to merge into my vehicle. I'm yeah. gonna be a little upset. Well, what was it? The one vehicle that almost merged into us was, It like, was a van. Uh, it was Yes, it was a van. It was, like, a big-ass transit van. Mm-hmm. And we were, like, nose-to-nose. Like, they literally could see us. They were right next to us. And I just wasn't... They wanted to come over, and I was not moving. Yeah. I, I, and you honked your horn, I believe? I do I believe. did. I try, I try to make a conscious effort to honk my horn As and should. yell. Because <laughs> I need... Because I guess. I need to yell to get it out of my system, and I need to honk so that my car is yelling at them, even though that does nothing 90% of the time. No. I know. But you would think it would. No, it's just because they're entitled. That's another yes. thing. There's a, People are so fucking entitled now. I don't know what was happened someone, over... Was there someone when we were in the car and he was, like, driving a truck and he just completely ignored everything? He didn't even look over? Yes. Was I in the car with you? Oh, my God. I'm. That's happened to me so many times where they just don't look over at all. But I think no. it's because they're embarrassed. Because I be. won't move. I will let you hit me. Yeah. You're waiting for it, in fact, as we've uh, said. Now now I'm waiting for it. And <laughs> nobody let my insurance company hear this bit. <laughs> this is co- this is going to be put into a court of law. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. They're going to use it against me. Anybody that watches or listens to this episode, you guys better shut up. If you hear me get into an accident, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, your insurance company is going to find this. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, they're not. They're going to ask for all my socials so they can see, and I'm not going to give them this one. <laughs> this isn't a social, technically. It's not. It's a social experiment. Yeah, it's an experiment for us in our brain. <laughs> I would also like to let you notice that I have not broken up out of this conversation, and we are an hour and 11 minutes in. You haven't. Oh, it's that new computer That's amazing. Setup. It's a, it's a, I have like a fucking antenna on my desktop and I put it up high and I feel like that helps. I feel like it helps a lot. I think so as well. I don't think you've even been robot-y once. Nope. God bless. I had said to her, I was like, I, I did a test on Twitch with Sims because I knew that that was like the highest power game I could put on. Without just fully cracking open my computer. And I ran it at the ultra setting. It didn't skip. It didn't pause. It's perfect. Thank you, computer. Thank you, computer. We love you. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Did I send you? I don't think I did. There's a TikTok that people are kind of flaming right now. It's a teacher. I think it's teacher Emily is her name on TikTok. And she was going over, she was grading a student's um, test where it was, she Mm -hmm. had pictures and you had to name it. And um, what did she do? She took off points because uh, for dog, they put their dog's name instead of dog Um, for, it was a boat. It was a pirate ship, but rather than put ship, they put pirate. And then she marked them. She was marking them wrong for, like, most of them when it was very obvious you could tell. Like, the kid knew what he was, like, they, the kid knew what they were talking about. Mm-hmm. And people were like, oh, and then the music note. There was a music note that uh, the kid put TikTok down for because it's the same note that's on the app. Which, yeah. you know, that's sad. Fair enough. But it's, it's a fair enough answer. Um, yeah, but, but she also... crossed that off and wrote music, and people were in the comments like, "Girl, that was a music note." Like, yeah. girl, you put a picture of a pirate ship. Yeah, but like, basically I... gave this kid, this poor kid, a zero because he was doing picture association and still got yeah. all of them right. It just wasn't exactly the words she was looking for. I feel like she should have just negated the test at that point and like went over everything with the class. Yeah. Because, like, I'm sure he was not the only one who made those mistakes. I wonder if I could find it and send it to you. Because it was honestly, like, it was pissing me off. Like, if I was a parent, and I get that, like, parents now, they really suck when it comes to their kids in school. Mm -hmm. But, like, this was just ridiculous. But you can only imagine this kid is, like, a kid. Like, it's, it's not like a teenager. Yeah, oh, I want to find the one that I saw. Okay, that might take me some time. I'm going to find it in my free time, though, and show you. Um, Well, other than that, how we feeling? I think. We're at an hour and 15. Yeah, I think we can end it. Well, listeners, thank you for this journey of us talking about random ass shit again for, I think, the 16th episode, 15th episode, something like that. Yeah, wherever we are. If I can get my Spotify load, I could probably tell you. (laughs) (laughs) 16th episode so thank you we love you as always we do love you i love you probably a little bit less damn (laughs) (laughs) that that hurts that hurts for the audience well i'm sorry audience i just have i only have so much love in my heart to give and some of it so much of it's already dedicated to megan Aw, wow. Aww. Well, I think this episode is done. <laughs> this episode's brought to you by, um... 
Olipop soda, which I have been drinking thoroughly throughout this episode. Thank you, Olipop, for giving me no money. And um, thank you, Austin McBroom and Catherine McBroom, for getting divorced and offering up a whole new slew of memes on TikTok. Thank you. We love Bye-bye. divorce. We love divorce. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>